What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Reggie Bryant. I'm the author of The Wealth Journey and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. This is one topic that I have not addressed on my channel like at all. And I really wanna break it down for you because this is something that even I fell into. This is basically a trap that a bunch of people fall into. So I'll start this video off by saying, I'm the type of person that goes pretty hard with everything I do and I have driven myself to a point of literally overworking myself to the point of not wanting to do anything. And to be honest, it's something that I've pretty much done <laughs> throughout my entire life. It's one of those lessons that keeps recurring. But anyway, I've been starting to exercise my right to take some time out for myself, relax, and do absolutely nothing so I don't burn out, right? And so while doing this, I was just chilling one day watching this video and I so happened to come across one of those little uh, shorts that Joe Rogan puts out on YouTube. And he was talking about how, you know, some people are just happy with waking up, going out for a hike and just being in, and just being in the outdoors. Other people are happy waking up, having a pretty good paying job, and all they wanna do after work is go to the gym. And for some people, that makes them happy. Some people are happy being entrepreneurs. Now, it was just a snip, so like he didn't really say much past that in that little 30 second clip, but I started adding stuff to it naturally, because I'm like, yeah, some people are happy being entrepreneurs and they couldn't see themselves working like a nine to five job, no matter how much it pays. Whereas there's somebody in this world who's looking at you or your situation where you're successful, you have a good job, you have a nice home to come back to, you have a car, you're able to have certain opportunities that not everybody has. And they look at that like, wow, I wish I had that. If only that was me, I would be the happiest person in the world. So happiness is this type of thing that almost always gets equated with success. And that's just not the truth. There's people in every position that I just spoke about in this video that are completely miserable. And so I'll say all that to say, there's a bunch of these narratives online about how you've gotta be an entrepreneur, you've gotta work for yourself, you've gotta at least make six figures to make it out here and blah, blah, blah. But all those things are not necessarily true. Yes, in certain places, the cost of living is stupid high. We'll talk about that in another video. And in order to live in those areas, you have to have a good amount of income, right? My point with this video is you don't have to be rich to be successful because some people, are happy with being comfortable, but you have to define what comfortable is to you. I was the type of person, I defined what comfortable was for me early on. To be frank with you, as soon as I graduated out of college, I was making a comfortable wage, but that was mainly because the cost of living for where I was in at that time was very, very, very low. A townhouse under $900 a month for someone who's making 60, 70, 80 grand a year, depending on how much overtime that was being worked, is a steal. Nowadays, you can't find a single bedroom apartment for under $900 that isn't in the ghetto. So the whole purpose of that video that I was talking about with Joe Rogan is a lot of people are extremely happy with what they're doing, but they become so happy that they try to push it onto everyone else as if they want it to. And I've done this too. I've sat up here before and said, yeah, you've got to get your own business. You've got to work for yourself. You've got to create your own income. You don't necessarily have to do that, but you have to have some sort of income. For me, I thrive in my career and pretty much always have. I might have struggled for the first like couple of years out of college because obviously you're going from being a student to being an employee who has to learn about the dynamics of how, how the working world actually works, how the real world actually is, what it's like to pay bills, what it's like to go through life events that happen to anybody, but in conjunction with going to work and having responsibilities and paying bills and all that stuff right? But for the most part, I've thrived throughout my career. Some people are anti-career. They don't want it. They don't want anything to do with the career. They'd rather open their own business and struggle. Even if they're only making $20,000 for themselves, they want to be able to say, well, at least I don't have to work for nobody. So there, it's different for different people. It depends on what your preference is. But the narrative that you have to be an entrepreneur, you have to make X amount of money, you have to make millions of dollars a year. And I, I saw this one video, Grant Cardone was saying that he would be something, I'm paraphrasing, but he says something to the effect of, 
I would feel like a failure if I was making under $400,000 a year. As a father, I would be a failure. Obviously, some of that was to get attention. Not all of that attention was positive, but you don't have to listen to stuff like that. If you want to make that type of money a year or more, that's great. But you don't need to pour it on to everyone else that, oh, well, if you're not making this much money, you're a failure. You're a disgrace type of thing. That's that's ridiculous to me. It's almost like being mentally wounded and because of the trauma that you've had in your life and because of the expectations you've built as a result of that trauma, now you're literally bleeding on everybody else. That's not fair to them and I think that's completely ridiculous. If you make $400,000 a year over hats off to you, that is amazing. I think anyone who wants that type of money should strive for it 100%. But to not be there and to be deemed as a failure is pretty ridiculous in my opinion. Same thing for anyone who's not making six figures. Maybe. You're making 50, 60, 70 grand a year and you want to be at six figures. That's great. But just because you want to be at six figures doesn't mean that everybody should want to be at six figures. I want to and I want to speak a little bit more about some people would rather be comfortable. Like some people just want to be in a position where they're not living paycheck to paycheck. Some people want to be able to say, well, I can save a thousand dollars a month. Some people want to get into a position where they got a good title at work, they have good benefits, they have a great 401k, or maybe you want a job that has stock options. Some people would literally just be okay with that. Some people just want to be able to live where they live at, in whatever area they're in, their cost of living is a non-factor because they make so much money that they don't really have to think about it. They're not necessarily rich, but they can handle their own financially. And that's a great thing because, you know, I know I'm going all over the place with this video, but I just have a lot of thoughts coming to my mind. There's a lot of people who run around bragging, my bills are paid. I pay my bill. Great. That is fantastic. You have to pay your bills or the things you own cease to exist. That's how that works. If you don't pay your car note, your car is going to get repossessed. You don't pay your rent. You ain't going to be living in your apartment for too much longer. You gotta pay your taxes. <laughs> Those are things that are required of you as an adult. But people want much more than just to be able to say that they can pay their bills. They want to have some level of comfort. They wanna feel some level of guilt-free spending outside of their obligations that they have to spend money on. Some people just wanna be able to do all that stuff, maybe have a hobby, maybe go to the gym, maybe hike, Maybe do yoga, maybe do martial arts. I'm about to get back into martial arts myself. So things like that are what a lot of people want to do. They want to feel comfortable. Like they have money. They have money to invest. They have money to do things that they want to do, have fun, go on vacations with. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You do not have to be rich to be successful. You do not have to be in the multi-million dollar range to be successful or to be happy for that matter. But you can't knock the people who want to be there. And for the people who want to be there, you can't knock the people who don't want to be there because everybody has their own definition of what success and what happiness is. And your wants may be hardwired to desires that you've had since you were a kid. And that's fantastic. Absolutely go for it. Just don't try to drag me along with you. For me, I'm all about thriving in my career and moving up and all that good stuff until it hits a point where my work-life balance no longer exists. And so I have to manage that. I have to understand how far up am I willing to go in my career and still have a work-life balance to then do the things that I want to do, like martial arts classes and things of that nature. I have to really think about that. And the reason I want the work-life balance isn't just to have fun and have my hobbies and stuff. It's also to build a legitimate business on the side where I'm building one on one side I'm building a network on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram and stuff like that and I have YouTube shorts and I have Instagram reels and stuff like that that attracts attention but it's to lead people to my website and my coaching services and my book and the investment course that I'm working on stuff like that these are things that I'm passionate about they may or may not work out, but I'm not sitting around losing sleep and overthinking things to the point where I'm not starting on my dream just because they may or may not happen. See, what happens when you tell people things that you want to do that may seem ambitious, things that go beyond the things that they want to do, they can be quick to talk you down like, why, why would that work? Who's going to buy a course from you? What, what makes you think you're knowledgeable about this? 
what makes you more special than this person who's been doing it for 20 years, blah, 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 blah. What makes you think you can write a book? Who's going to read your book anyway? Who's going to watch your YouTube videos anyway? You're in your 20s. What can you teach people about finances? You know, I could let negativity and I can let my own thoughts and I can let other people's words deter me from doing what I want to do. But the thing at the end of the day is if I want to do it, I'm going to go for it. And I'm not saying everybody needs to do what I'm doing to be successful. It's purely what I have in my heart to do, to help people change their lives, build their finances, start investing their money into assets that can make their money grow over the long term because they weren't taught this stuff in school and make some money on the side while doing it. It ain't nothing wrong with doing that. But if you're someone who doesn't want to do things like that, there's nothing wrong with not doing that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with going to work, making an honest day's living, making an honest day's living, coming back home, cleaning, cooking, doing whatever you do before you go back to work the next day and doing that stuff, enjoying your family on the weekends, going to church on Sunday. There's nothing wrong with any of that. You just have to decide for yourself. What do you want your life to look like? You don't have to live in a mansion. You don't have to have millions of dollars in the bank account. You don't have to have a crazy big investment fund. You don't even have to get promoted at work or any of that stuff. Because for some people, they're good with where they're at right now. Because where they're at right now provides them the comfort and stability that they have in their lives right now. It allows them the time with their families and friends right now. It allows them enough financially comfort to do whatever it is that they want to do right now. It's not all about you. It's about what people individually want to do with their lives. And if they decide one day that they want to change to your way or vice versa, then we can talk about it then. But until then, we need to stop putting our wants and our desires onto other people. Like just because you like to work out just because you like to run marathons doesn't mean that the person over here is about any of that stuff. Just because you're a vegetarian doesn't mean that the person over here has to be a vegetarian too or a vegan or whatever the case is. Everybody is different and unique for a reason. So I'll say all that to say your success lies in what it is that you want to do with your life and your ability to achieve that all while being happy and having a healthy lifestyle while having healthy relationships. And at the end of the day, being able to go to sleep, knowing that what you've done is what you wanted to do and not something that other people wanted you to do. I have friends and I have some family members who swear by going to get a master's degree. But me personally, I'm not going to go get a master's degree, at least not right now. Why? I don't see the ROI on it. And going to get that extra degree, I know so many people with master's degrees that don't make anywhere near what top tier paying jobs pay. And I know people with bachelor's degrees who are making that top tier pay that I was just talking about. So for me, that's just my opinion. And it's based off of my results. It's based off of how much I'm making now. Versus someone who out there who just generally has an opinion that, oh, well, you need to have a master's degree. Well, says who? A master's degree does not guarantee that you're going to move up in the corporate world or make more money or any of that stuff. Sure, it can be good to have. Sure, it can be a prestigious accomplishment. That doesn't mean I want it. Anyway, I'm going off on a rant. You get the idea. <clears throat> you define what success means to yourself and you do whatever you can do to reach that. Success is defined by you and you go for whatever your definition of success is. And then you move on to the next goal and that is how you do it. But anyway, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.